All right, filming a uh, SGC reveal. Um, I submitted this on November 2nd. Actually didn't get to them until about uh, November 10th or 11th. Got this back in the mail today here on the November 19th. Um, pretty difficult uh, order overall. Um, did restore my faith in humanity, though. Um, I sub with SGC a ton. Um, this was the first real highly significant uh, situation that I've had um, with them, and I'll get to that card in a second. But it's a four-card sub here. Showing you first, uh, this is the Tom Brady Skybox 2000 Rookie. I got it as authentic. That was by my... Uh, order. Um, did not want to get this card graded, just wanted to get it authentic. Um, it looks beautiful on a slab. Uh, really nice um, Tom Brady rookie. Got this second Tom Brady rookie, also authentic uh, with the note color added, and I'll get to that in the back. Um, beautiful card, just, just a stunning rookie card. Love it. Um, up here in this corner, there is a very, very dark pen mark that you can barely see, but that's what they uh, mark that as. But uh, just a wonderful looking uh, Tom Brady um, Pacific Crown Royal uh, rookie card, rookie royalty. Uh, this is my son's card. Picked this up at a card show. Not into this card for nothing uh, except for the grading which is $20, the Power of One Pokemon promo card, which Ancient Mew, which we knew this was not going to grade high. This was more, just trying to get it slabbed. Um, it was mainly just the corners had been worn. This is actually was like a game. I don't know if it was used in a game or if it was just had some, some travels, but it was a throw-in and uh, got a six on it. Uh, and for a 22-year-old card, it looks pretty, really nice card. And then this, the story card, um, here it is, the Mickey Mouse Lorcana promo. Um, got a seven. Um, shouldn't have got a seven. Um, as you can see here, right there is the scratch white mark on the card. Um, that was done during the grading process. Um, did talk with SGC. Um, the card should have graded, uh, we, we agreed that the card should have graded a 9.5, so not a 10, but a 9.5. It was scratched during the grading process. Luckily, I had all my paperwork, my pictures, my timestamps to show what the card looked like before. And uh, what SGC did, and uh, give credit to Brent and uh, Logan over there at SGC, you know, they ended up making it right, compensated me for the difference between a 7 and a 9.5, which is very significant. Um, so they, you know, sent the money to my PayPal while we were on the phone, which was very awesome. I get to keep the card. Um, so would I rather have a 9.5 in this? Yes. <laughs> Um, but we agreed on significant compensation for the, the, the grading, um, the grading scratch and, um, SGC made it right. And that's all you can do and ask for from a grading company. Now, now if this was PSA or, or somebody else, BGS, and I had one issue a long time ago with BGS, um, that would have been a major, major issue. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm very happy with SGC, always have been, they're my number one, and uh, they made it right from at least a financial perspective, and um, did it all within 24 hours, so SGC, you still have my love, obviously with the mat, and uh, I want to remind everybody that the Lorcana Mickey Mouse, the highest selling individual card, is in an SGC 10 holder, uh, sold for $5,000, nobody has come close to that, even PSA, so when you're thinking about grading for these particular cards, think about SGC.